Okay, this problem is very similar to the last one. So it's write a function factorial, which accepts a number and returns the factorial of that number. So the factorial of, is the product of an integer that in all its integers below it. So four factorial, for example, and this is how it's typically written in mathematics. Four factorial is equal to 24 because it takes the number itself and it multiplies it times all the numbers below it. So four times three times two times one, which equals 24, we skip over zero. And then zero factorial, factorial is just one, right? Okay, so um, three would be three times two times one times zero, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do, this is gonna be very similar to the last one. We're gonna say if our n, so we're passing in what factorial we want, n is the factorial of what we want. We're gonna have some kind of base case that we're gonna define. And our base case is gonna be when n is equal to zero. So what happens when n equals to equals to zero? We're gonna return one, all right? And so in the other part, like if n is not equal to zero, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna return n itself times the factorial. So we're gonna call, we're gonna recurse, and we're gonna call the factorial, and we're gonna decrement n, so n minus one. So if we were looking at this on the call stack, and this is basically the solution right here. So if we were looking at this on the call stack, then what we would have is like, let's say that we're doing a factorial of like four. So we call this function, we get here, n is not equal to zero. So we're gonna skip that, we're gonna go to this. And so what this tells us to do is to take n, multiply it times uh, the factorial of three. So we call factorial again, and factorial is gonna go through and recurse, we're gonna recurse and n is not equal to zero, so then we call itself again. So we're gonna recurse again, or we're gonna say factorial of two. So we're gonna decrement the current value of n, which is currently three. So then we're gonna keep on doing this, right? Until we get to a base case of n is equal to zero. So factorial of one, and n times factorial of zero, right? So once we get to zero, then that's when we're gonna return off of the call stack a one. So that means all of these functions are sitting on the call stack. They haven't actually completed yet. They're just sitting there waiting to complete. Every time we call, every time we curse, we recurse, we just keep on stacking on top of our call stack. So this right here is gonna yield right here. This is going to become n, which at this point n is uh, one. So this is gonna be one times um, zero which is when we return here, it's gonna be one. So one times one, which is equal to one. So what this means, this is the result of factorial of one, right? Because n is one right here. So now we're gonna say, well, now that we have that, then we know when n is two, right? So n is two, then we have the solution to factorial of one, which is this down here, which is just completed and now it's returned into this value right here. So now we're gonna have one times, uh, or two, sorry, two times one, which is the factorial of, uh, which is the factorial of, of two, right? So two times one is the factorial of two. So now we have the, uh, the value for the factorial of two. So we now have that result. So now we're at three, right? So this is going to yield three times um, we know the factorial of two now because we got it from down here. So this is gonna be times two, which is six, right? So now we have the factorial of three, right? So the factorial of three now is six. So then we're gonna take n now, which is four, which is what we want here, the solution that we want here. So n is four times six, which is 24.